Hey, how's it going? Today I'll show you the easy way to install CloudStream application to your Fire Stick or Android TV. The whole process is super easy and will take you only a couple of minutes. First of all, you have to get an app called Unloader. You can actually get it for free from the official Amazon App Store. To do so, we just need to go to search on your device. Here it is, open it and start typing the loader right here in the search bar. And there is the app which we need to get. So we click on the loader and make sure to download this app to your device. But after you get the loader, it's not over yet. We still have to set it up. So to set up the loader, we'll go to settings. Here they are, open the settings, scroll down and go to my far TV, open it. Here you will have to enable developer options on your device. However, on some Fire Sticks, and especially on the new ones, the developer options can be hidden by default. So if that's the case, do not worry, it's really easy to make them appear. Just go to About, select Fire TV Stick, and now you have to click on the middle button on your remote for 7 times, and do it fast, so let's do it. As you can see, now for me at the bottom it says no need, you are already a developer. That's in my case. In your case, it's going to say that you have become a developer now. So if you go back a bit, you will finally see developer options, which just appeared right here. So we open them, make sure to enable ADB debugging, then go to install unknown apps. From here, locate the loader and turn that option on. So what it does is going to allow you to install other applications from the internet and not necessarily only those apps which are only available in the official Amazon App Store by default. And that's exactly what we're going to do right now. So now finally, let's go to the list of apps on your device. There it is, open it. And here you'll find the loader, which is set up and ready to use on your device. However, before actually using the loader, there's one more thing which I really recommend doing. It's of course connecting to a VPN. In my case, I mostly use NordVPN. Because they're super fast, we got a great app for Fire Sticks, Android TVs, phones, laptops, or pretty much any other device you may use. And they're not expensive for such a premium service. In fact, they cost less than a cup of coffee per month, which is great pricing for us, the users. In the VPN app, you just connect to any server. Let's say I will connect to Poland right now. And from the moment you connect, all your traffic is going to be totally encrypted. It means nobody can track you or snoop on your line. And that's really important if you want to stay out of trouble. And if you don't have a VPN yet, but you want to try it out, I do have a great offer for you. If you use my link, which will be in the pinned comment below the video or in the description of the video, you'll get 3 months of NordVPN totally for free, which is an amazing offer. And if you're watching this video on your TV or on your Fire Stick, then just grab your phone or your computer, open up a web browser and go to topvpnoffer.com. That's my website, which is going to give you the same amazing deal for NordVPN with 3 months for free. Or just scan the QR code, which you can see on your screen right now, with a camera of your phone. It works the same way and it's also going to give you the same amazing deal for NordVPN. And now, finally, let's use the loader safely. So we go to the list of apps, open up the loader, here it is, wait until it loads. And now it's really important that on the left side menu you click on Home. So once again, you have to click on Home and not on Browser. So we click on Home. And here in that search bar, we'll enter a code, which is going to be 2, 8, 9, 0, and 7. So once again, the whole code is 28907. Make sure to enter it exactly as you see on the screen and do not make any mistakes. Because obviously, if you make any mistake, the code is not going to work. Then you have to click on Go, and in a couple of moments, a website is going to open up for you. While it loads, make sure to subscribe my channel for more content on Fire Sticks, and of course, hit the like button below this video if you find it helpful. It really helps us a lot. Then, when the website opens, we just have to scroll down a bit until we see that list of categories. From here, you have to click on Movies and TV, so click on it. Then, a huge list of apps is going to open up, and from here, we have to find CloudStream. Yep, here it is. We can see CloudStream right now on the screen. Let's click on it. Then some kind of ad might pop up for you. If it does pop up, do not click on open because that will mess everything up for you. Instead, click on close to close down the ad. So we click on close and now a new web page should open up. Yep, here it is. We also have to scroll it down. Keep scrolling until you see that download button right here. That's exactly what we're looking for. But if for some reason it doesn't work and the download doesn't start, you can always use the backup download link, which is just below the usual download button. So for now, just click on download 
and wait until cloud streams start downloading. Usually it doesn't take long, but of course it all depends on your connection speed. Then we have to click on install and wait until CloudStream gets installed to the Fire TV or Android TV, depending on what kind of device you are using. After that, do not click on open yet, instead press on done, because here we'll have an option to delete the installation file, as we really don't need it anymore on our device, so click on delete and then delete once again. This way we are erasing unnecessary files from your device and saving up some space for you. Now finally let's go to the list of apps on your device, there it is, open it. Then scroll down and here you'll find CloudStream at the bottom of your application list. Now I would recommend you to click on the options button on your remote, there's the bottom of three horizontal lines. You click on it and then press on move to front. This way CloudStream is always going to be at the very top of your application list and it's going to be really easy for you to access the app every time you need it. Just don't forget to keep your VPN connected to stay safe and out of trouble online. And once again, you can use the link below the video or just go to topvpnoffer.com to get three months of NordVPN totally for free. Enjoy and see you next time. Bye-bye.